Okay, hey everybody, it's Isabel, your encourager, helping you conquer challenges, and I'm about to get in my closet and I'm decluttering and cleaning at the same time, which feels as crazy as it sounds, but progress is being made, and I recently bought some new clothes. I had a clothing haul, bought clothes online, and as I bring new clothes in, I want to filter some out so that um, I don't have to keep doing big declutters but do little ones and I'm not perfect my closet is still feels cluttered to me but hopefully this can inspire you you start anywhere and um, the feeling that you get at the end at least for me it makes me feel lighter and more focused when my house feels less cluttered so I just wanted to Im invite you into what I'm doing and how I eliminate some clothes out of my closet so let us begin. Okay, I have a goal of under 40 items in my closet. All my big coats over here. These are just my main clothes. Um, now, this dress here, whoo, I really wanted to wear this dress for New Year's or the holidays, but because of COVID, it feels unlikely. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang this here and that'll be a reminder to wear this or else. <laughs> or else it's time to cut it out of your closet. This dress is also in the front for the same purpose. I need to either get rid of it or find some inspiration for it. Maybe a photo shoot, something. Or gift it. That's another idea I do too. And... This dress I love. I don't think I'm going to wear it this year, but this is a New Year's dress. I have some fun memories in that. And it's so pretty just to see on the screen. So I'm going to put this at the back of the closet with my dresses. Um, because this is in an order, but those are just in the front so that I can remember to wear them and be intentional. This shirt here. So in my mind, I hear, no, you don't wear it, so get rid of it. So. I'm going to put it in my get rid of pile. It's a nice piece and it's a basic piece, which I don't have a lot of, so I might regret that, but I don't think so. I really don't wear it, so I'm just, I'm going to get rid of this one also. It is a really nice, um, like businessy type of shirt. It fits like a dream, but I also don't feel inspired enough to wear this every so often. And again, I'm doing this so that I have more hanger space. I have three more things that I can put in my closet so far. So I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> okay. This shirt, it's actually not mine. So I don't feel like I can get rid of it. Um, I'm going to put this on in, in, in the maybe section. Um, let's see. This shirt, I don't wear this either. This is a nice white button up. Wow, I feel like I could get rid of so many things based on what I do not wear. Um, but I feel like this is like a, an essential, this is like an OSDI t-shirt. Let's see. I think I'm going to keep this. Because um, I feel like if I get rid of it, I'm going to be like, where is my white cream shirt? I need it. Um, I love this shirt. Give it to shot. I wear that a lot in the summertime. Very reliable. Um... I also wear this one often. Uh, I wear that. I wear this. These are all my shirts. I love these. This needs to be repaired, but I'm still gonna keep it. Let's see, this is my corner. Let's see. Where did my pants go? I guess it's not. Both of these pants. I, I do want to wear. Okay, moving on to sweaters. I have a, a love this sweater. And this turtleneck is a must. It is very oversized, but I'll insert a picture. It is very beautiful. I love this community. So I'm going to keep that. And my t shirts. I think I should keep those in here. Yep. Except I was thinking to get rid of this or put it in a photo shoot because I don't wear this often. I'm going to put this in my maybe box. Okay, blazers. I like this, but I think I need to put this in 
my spring summer wardrobe um, because the colors are very springy. So I'm going to put this in here. So summer wardrobe. Um, this is a really nice suit. I'm going to put it with the dresses. I don't wear that often, but I'm not getting rid of that. It is such a powerful piece. Um, this blazer. I don't wear blazers, but I feel like once I'm a business professional in the medical field, I will want to wear a blazer. So I'm going to keep that in here for now. Yes, yes. This is really nice, actually. I like this one. I like that back. So this is my July 4th shirt and um, I love it, but I can only wear it like once. At least I, I tried to style it on a day that was not July 4th and it just didn't feel right and I had to take it off. So um, I'm going to put that in my summer wardrobe also and then just kind of out of order. Okay. So I think I have maybe like five changes so far. I like this. I was thinking about putting it in my drawer, like t with my basic t-shirt. So I'm gonna transfer this. Did I? Yeah. I'm gonna. I put it in my Ruby to transfer this, but to keep, still keep it. So I love this sweater. Ooh, I found some more hangers. Okay, so let's put that on the front. This is a t-shirt, and this belongs in my drawer. So I'm going to. Put that in my drawer section. So we're getting a lot of hangers so far. And um, let's see. Okay. This has been on my mind for the, this is like part of why I'm doing this video. And so this jacket is so inspiring and fun. And look at the beading. But I know I haven't worn it since I've gotten it. <laughs> I would I somebody was throwing this away and I grabbed it. But anyways. I think I either want to try to style a shoot with it or get rid of it. And so um, that's something that's taking up closet space that I either need to be intentional with uh, to make the most use out of it or get rid of it. So moving on, I see my bottoms are here after the sweaters. So I have a skirt, I love that. I don't wear this a lot, but I still love that. And pants. I'm gonna get rid of these. These are a little too tight on my waistline. They're really nice. I think they're Ann Taylor or Talbots. I don't know. Um, they, they're they really snug. They're really pretty. They fit nice everywhere, except it's just a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm gonna toss these. And maybe whenever I thrift ever again, I can find another thing like that. Okay, I have this dress in here. It has really fun sleeves. I'm going to show you guys this. I really like this one. I think I'm going to keep this. Oh, actually, I think the boys tell me to get rid of this because this is in a piece in my life that I don't need anymore. So sometimes I get rid of pieces. Actually, I've never done this before. <laughs> but if you saw my um, recent videos about my depression and just different, my testimony, things like that. Um, I've had to get rid of some pieces that remind me of that season. So, um, it's like a charm. So, this dress will go. And I'm thinking about putting these on some sort of Depop or something. Because these are really nice pieces. I really don't wear them as much as I should have. So, they're really lightly used. And I think they would love a new home. So, this red dress. It's a big piece. And this dress is darling. It makes me think of breakfast at Tiffany's. It is really cute, but I think I should get rid of this or maybe put it in a shoe because I really don't. I haven't worn it in a long time. It's a really nice length. I think I should get rid of this. I haven't worn it. Oh, this is mm, this is another dress that I haven't. Right along. Everything else I'm gonna keep. 
So let's count what I have so far. Let's see. I have 31 items in my closet, plus these two fancy dresses, so over the number I just said. So I met my goal, and now I can throw in my new items that I just bought and not feel guilty about it and feel happy about what I've done today. So thanks for being along in the journey, the three well, I didn't count them, but the things that I do to help me eliminate is one, I kind of, I ask the Lord and he talks to me and he helps me organize. And so he's saying, get rid of that one piece, that dress. So I just listen to that. He knows whether I'm going to use that or not, or whether it's good for me. And um, I try to be intentional with my pieces, maybe create some inspiration of a, like a certain event that I definitely want to wear it to and set it aside. And also thinking of, if you haven't used it by now, then you're probably not going to ever use it. Like this song, that's how I try to cut these pieces out of my life so that I can make room for other ones that will really add to um, my joy, as we would say. So, that's everything so far. It's looking kind of boring in here, so I want to add my new pieces. I'll be right back. So I'm back and I have some items that I bought and also that are clean for my laundry and I gotta hurry. So this sweater, I'm gonna count as I go up one that I'm adding to my, this is new. This dress is like ankle length, but it has such a cool turtleneck. It is really baggy, it's so fun. And okay, dress section, so two, sweater, beautiful dress you guys are gonna oh my gosh you cannot tell me this is okay it's not a full dress it's like an apron-y dress that goes on top it's a, it's a double piece type of thing isn't that so cute okay gotta hurry gotta hurry okay so one two three i lost count looks like that was three four Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm wearing that. Seven. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with this. Put that number here. So 33 plus seven, <laughs> I met my 40 goal. I have 40 pieces in my closet and there are even still some pieces that I'm like, hmm, I might wanna get rid of that. So again, it's always a process, it's always revolving. So I'll be keeping out my eye of whether or not I wear this sweater or not in the next couple months. And if not, then it can it can go and it's okay. So anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit of that process and happy decluttering. That's all I have for now. Remember, listen to God's voice today and let him change your life. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining. Talk to you later. Bye.